I live in a beautiful town called Noosa on the east coast of Australia. It offers some extremely diverse fishing options and today I'm heading 50 kilometers offshore to a place called the Hards to fish with some knife jigs on medium tackle in 50 to 60 meters of water. Yep, come on, yes, come on, oh, what a fun way to fish. <laughs> I let the jig hit the bottom, and as soon as I put the bar arm over, something was already on it. <laughs> it's a trevally. There's a different species for me out here, a trevally. On a knife jig at the heart. Heaps of different species of these fish on the reefs in Queensland. And uh, this one's one of the more prevalent on the shallower reefs and the bommies, uh, especially off of Brisbane and also right up to the top of the Sunshine Coast. Yes! Oh, that's a better fish, come on. Ooh. <laughs> that was a really good hit. Solid hit in the midwater. Oh, let's hope it's the species I'm looking for. Come on, this is the area for them. I know there's, where there's snapper, there's gonna be amberjack. They usually show up in the same places. And they love a knife jig coming up through the water column. Oh, what have we got here? I can see some color. It is an ambo. It's not a big one, but still a really fun fish to catch. I'm looking for some bigger models and I'm sure they will be around. That is the fish that I came here for, a small version. Now I just got to find the big brother and sister, the amberjack. It's a close relation to the Samson fish and they will grow up to around 80 kilos in size and they love these reefy areas in the deeper water. I may have to go out another 20 meters or so in the 60 to 80 meter water to find the bigger ones, but at least they're around. So I'll just keep digging for a while and see if I can get some bigger models. Bigger fish coming through the sounder now. Come on, 10 meters up. Yep, that's got it, come on. Yes. Oh, that could be a bigger one. Oh, I just saw that fish on the sounder then. Definitely a good sized fish, bigger than the other fish swimming down there. Can't resist when a lure comes past his face. We're about five days out from the full moon, which is normally a good fishing period. Ah, it's a lucky dip every time. And I just keep moving around. I'm moving about 40 or 50 meters every time, trying new spots. And as soon as I come across a patch of fish, just dropping the same jig down, working it through the column. And normally in that bottom 20 meters, it's hooking up. Ah, it's another trevally. Ah, oh, it's a good fish too. Nice fish. There we go, another species out here at the hards. The trevally always fight hard and definitely get bigger than this, but even at this size, they're a really good fun fish to catch in 50 meters of water. And once again, the jig just hooks up nicely. There's obviously a few of these guys around at the moment. We caught one earlier. This guy's a little bit bigger model. And one, once again, shows the variety of the fish you can catch out here in the, uh, the grounds around the hards. Yes, come on. Oh yes. Oh, that's an AJ, without a doubt. Come on. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, that lasted about 10 seconds. Well, now we've got to go to 80 pound, and we might have a shot. Oh yep, good fish, good fish. I'm gonna slow this thing down. Come on, come on. Need some wines on this one, come on. Come on. Get him off the bottom. Come on. Oh, I don't wanna lose this one. I've lost too many today. There's some fantastic fish out here. Oh, the Hards is just Jurassic Park. I've been done a few times in the reef today. If you don't get them off the bottom pretty quick, 
It's game over. He's not a big fish, but man, this guy's got some pull. What have we got here? It's actually a kingy. Oh, even better. Man, these guys have got some power. There we go, the yellowtail kingfish. One of the most powerful pound for pound fish in the ocean. And I've caught some brutes of these guys off of Brisbane before, out on the, uh, the wrecks and the bombies off of Morton and Stradbroke Island. Occasionally I catch them in off Noosa, but this is the first one I've caught out here at the Hards. Normally we catch the Amberjack, which is a pretty similar fighting fish, but that is an absolute, absolute weapon of a fish to catch today. The variety of fish that you can catch out here at the Hards is amazing. I can't wait to come back out here for another session.